The Rams didn't have a pick in the first round, yet they have had the best draft class out of any team in the NFL this year. Here's why. What's up guys, Zach from ZF Productions here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Rams and their draft class that has been absolutely balling out this year, why they have the best draft class out of any other team um, without even having a single first round draft pick. Now, the Rams rookie class has been one of the most impactful in the NFL this year. This is coming from the Rams wire, and I'm gonna be going through uh, you know, player by player and why um, you know, the Rams just absolutely killed it this year, and that's why we're in the playoff race at this point. Um, we needed players to step up, and they have been. So after parting ways with several key veteran starters in the offseason, the Rams were in desperate re need of a home run in the draft. And not just with their top pick, they had to land several impact rookies on day two and three. Um, and that's exactly what Les Snead and Sean McVay did. Through the first six weeks of the season, no team in the NFL has gotten more from his draft class than the Rams. According to Pro Football Focus, the Rams' non-quarterback rookies have played 1,453 snaps, which is more than any team in the league. The Texans are close behind, so including C.J. Stroud would obviously put them ahead of the Rams, but it's remarkable how much the Rams have gotten out of the rookies this year, despite not having a first-round pick. So most snaps from non-rookie QBs, it's not even close. The Rams are way above everyone. Now, they probably are one of the best teams out of this lot, um, so this isn't really good company to be keeping, but the Rams are still still heavily in that um you know playoff race i mean the texans are doing pretty solid as well cardinals are a better team than a lot of people would like to give them um you know credit for but we're talking about the rams we're not talking about other teams at the moment um the four players who have really led the way for the 2023 class are Steve Avila, our left guard, Byron Young, our edge defender, who's been playing absolutely amazing, Kobe Turner, um, who's really turning it up at this point, and Puka Nakua, who was setting records um, the first four weeks with uh, Cooper Cup out. All four of them are key contributors, uh, earning starting roles early in their careers. If not for them, the Rams probably wouldn't be 3-3 three three right now heading into week seven. Um, Avila, I mean, just look at Puka Nakua. He literally had a game-winning touchdown. Um, Avila had had some up and down performances, but for the most part, he's been outstanding. He has the seventh best overall grade of any rookie lineman this season, according to PFF, allowing just two sacks. In college, I believe he only allowed one sack in like literally 44 games or whatever it was. Um, but yeah, he, he's solid. Turner and Young are both among the 10 highest graded rookie defenders this year too. Turner ranks ninth with a grade of 72, while Young is 10th at um, 71. Young's uh, 25 total pressure are the most of any rookie, and Turner's eight pressure ranks sixth in the class. So we're getting a lot of production on our defensive line with our rookies, which we absolutely needed because we were very light at that position or those positions. Nakua obviously has been a stud at wide receiver. His 82 overall grade is the highest of any rookie this year. And overall, he's 12th amongst wideouts in the NFL, regardless of draft class. So that includes Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, everyone, all these different wide receivers, he's 12th. Nick Hampton and uh, Mathis have gotten snaps at outside linebacker as well. And Ethan Evans has been a fantastic rookie punter with his powerful leg. And at least for the time being, Zach Evans is likely to be the starting running back with Kyron Williams and Ronnie Rivers out. He's going to be the starting running back this week. A lot of people have high hopes for how he's going to be performing this week as well. It was impressive enough that all 14 draft picks made the 53-man roster, um, but several of them already have key roles. The Rams appear to have hit a home run in 2023. So yeah, that's kind of just what I wanted to go over. The Rams have killed it with draft classes in the past. Um, you know, we have gotten a little bit of, um, you know, uh, of flack for drafting Cam Akers and Van Jefferson, who played good roles at one point, but we ended up trading them for a sack of potatoes um, this year. Uh, but the Rams have killed it with this draft, um, and we have at least a few stars here. I think Byron Young is going to be a star at edge, and I think... Um, you know, Puka Nakua uh, is not fool's gold. He is the real deal as well. So I just wanted to kind of note how good the Rams uh, drafted and how they probably did the best out of any team in the NFL. So uh, that's all I wanted to go over. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for the more content coming on the Rams. Other than that, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.